Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. In this session, I shall be discussing the different uh, types of page tables or you can learn under the heading structure of the page table. So, Galvin has mentioned under the heading structure of the page table. So, this uh, author has given three different types of page tables or you call it as paging techniques. One is the hierarchical paging, the uh, second one is the inverted page tables and the third one is the hashed page tables. So, in hierarchical paging in some books it is given under the heading multi-level paging also. Okay. And in multi-level like it can be two level, three level like this. In this session I, I have given one particular diagram which is representing the two level paging. So, this is the diagram that is given in the text. So, before I explain with respect to the diagram I would like to tell you exactly the concept behind uh, getting into this kind of paging that is the two level paging or the hierarchical paging. So, first thing is what any time any point of time in the previous uh, concepts of paging or segmentation what is that you have learnt is you have to maintain a page table. So, in paging you are maintaining the uh, page table fine it is called as the page table and page table stores what all the page numbers of a process and the frame number in which that particular page is stored in the physical memory. So, there will be a page table for every process like for process P1 there will be one page table for process P2 another page table like this for every page every process there is a page table. Now, how many entries that will be there in a page table? It all depends on the number of pages for that particular process. If a process P1 is having just for the sake of simplicity 8 pages okay page 1, page 2, page 3, then the page table of process P1 will have only 8 entries. Okay. If process P2 is having some uh, 200 pages, then the page table will have 200 entries. So, this way number of pages equal to number of entries in the page table. Now, how are you going to arrive at the number of pages? It is given in what? The number of bits that are used to represent the page number. For that reason, I will just tell you always in all the previous concepts you have learned that the logical address is consisting of the page number and the displacement. See, this is your logical address. Okay, It consists of what? Two components. How much? What are the components? One will be the page number and another will be the displacement. Now, how many bits are used to represent this particular logical address? Okay. Suppose if 8 bits are used to represent the logical address, fine. And in that 8 bits, let us assume 4 bits are used to represent the displacement, then 4 bits are used to represent the page number. This is how you have to understand. In, this is a very simple, this much small will not be the logical address space. Just for the say, sake of simplicity, I am writing here, 8 bits are used to represent the logical address. Fine. If 4 bits are used to represent the page number, then 2 to the power of 4 is how much? 16 pages are there. If 16 pages are there, then 16 entries will be there in the page table. And in each page, the displacement value, the offset value is here 4, 2 to the power of 4 is what? Once again 16. And in each page, okay, and in each page, 16 entries will be there. Fine. So, that means what? If this is your physical memory, physical memory is having what? How many pages? The last one will be what? 15. 0 to 15 is how much? 16 pages are there in the uh, physical memory. Now, each page that means each page will be having 16 entries. So, this is how this is what is the concept behind the logical address. It all depends on how many number of bits are used to represent the logical address. So, in this manner, once you are learning that, okay, if this is the memory, if this is the logical memory and you have uh, 16 pages and in each page, this, there are 16 entries. Now, just we will take one more uh, slightly uh, higher logical address space, the higher value for the logical address space. Now, let us assume that your logical address space is represented by 32 bits. If your logical address is represented by 32 bits and we will we'll write like this page number 20 bits are used to represent the page number and 16 bits are used to represent the displacement or offset. If this is the case then 2 to the power of 20 1 mega 
that means 1 million 1 million pages will be there for that particular process and 1 million entries should also be there in the page table now just imagine your process itself is of what the process itself is having 1 mega or 1 million pages fine and to get to know wh where these pages are stored in the main memory you are having a page table and the page table should also have what 1 mega or 1 million entries so to store that page table huge ta page table that means you need to find in the main memory that much consecutive space to store the page table of this process suppose if you are taking this process p1 p1 is having what 2 to the power of 21 million pages and to store the page table of the process p1 that much consecutive space is required in the main memory finding such a consecutive space in the main memory is quite difficult for that reason we have to go for the second that is two level paging what we can do is logical address space as i said if it is 20 bits for the page number and you have the displacement bit so what has uh, this is what i have explained 2 to the power of 21 million since finding this much consecutive space is very difficult in the main memory what we can do is this particular completely 1 mega or 1 million locations the huge page table you divide it into parts okay you divide it into this one part second third fourth and you split this page table one part of the page table will be stored in the main memory wherever you get a space so that means one part of the page table is stored here another part, uh, part of the page table is stored here the other part of the page table is stored somewhere in the memory so this way you are going to store the different parts of the page table not in a contiguous manner but wherever you find the space available in the main memory for that reason since you are you are having what this particular pages stored at different locations you need to find out where these pages are stored okay where this particular part of the page table is stored where this particular part of the page table so you need the starting address of each of this part of the page table so to store the starting address of each of this part of the page table you have to maintain one more page table and that is called as the outer page table so the outer page table will be pointing to what to the inner page table the inner page table will give you the frame that is the frame number and the frame number is what the starting address of the physical memory where that particular page is present when you add with the displacement value you are going to reach to that particular location so this way this is the concept behind the two level paging so what i can do is i can simply now make it because i want to have two level paging this pages also i will first level i'll represent it like this the second level is like this so this is the first level and this is the second level for that instead of 20 now i am using 10 bits for the page okay first level page lay and 10 bits for the second level now what is the first level paging 2 to the power of 10 is how much 1024 so your outer page table will have from 0 to 1023 locations so this will be 1 2 3 like this the last location will be how much 1023 this is what this is representing your outer level page table it is only pointing what to the starting address of the inner level page table now each page table uh, this is just an outer page table no now where are the other pages because next is what once again 2 to the power of 10 inner pages will also have 1024 locations so inner page levels one will be here somewhere will be the other third fine now this is pointing to the starting address of what the first uh, part of the page table that is the first part of the page table then this will point to the so this way and how many entries each of this inner page table will have once again the inner page table will have from 0 to 1023 0 to 1023 so if this is one particular part of the page table you represent it with zero this is another part of the page table i am just telling you in numbers this is the second one like this you will be having how many 1023 zero i am starting from zero it is ending at 1023 otherwise it is thousand what we call it as if we tell in numbers 1024 inner page tables are there if 1024 inner page tables are there to find out the starting address of every inner page table you need an outer page table so it is simply like uh, indexing 
okay this is what normally this was the case earlier indexing now you are doing indexing to indexing so outer page table always represents what indexing to the inner page table so these are all inner page table you can see so 1024 inner page tables will be there 1024 Uh, entries for the outer outer page table will there what is that you are doing with this method since you did not fight consecutive 1000 uh, sorry 1 million entries to store the page table you have splitted the page table into different parts that 1000 uh, 1 million entries you have splitted into several uh, page tables smaller page tables and you are storing at different locations or at different uh, addresses in the memory okay this is all about the concept behind the two level paging now the same thing i think you can better very clearly understand with respect to the diagram that is given in the textbook so this is what see normally the textbook p1 and p2 is used here you can use the same thing also it is only what the number of bits representing the outer page table this is the inner page table but right from the beginning i am using the letter p for process and for the page i am using the letter spg that's the reason i am maintaining the same thing so as i said see look here pg1 the outer page table whatever number is generated suppose if it is generating uh, 56th then it is going to search and uh, find out the 56th entry here in the outer page table the outer page table will give you the starting address of the inner page table now once again inner page table may be present at some particular address we don't know suppose let us assume that its starting address is present here okay this particular is giving you or leading to the starting address of this inner page table but to which location of the inner page table will you reach that is represented in here okay whatever logical address in the logical address the value for this is generated suppose if it is generating a value 85 then it is going to point out to which location 85 okay 56th entry of the outer page table it wants to select what 85th entry of the inner page table but which inner that inner page table starts from which base address is present here in the outer page table then once it reaches to the inner page table what is that it will get the frame number here frame number is always the starting address of that particular page in the main memory so if suppose if the frame address is for uh, let us take 1200 so in the physical memory this uh, starting address is 1024 but in which location okay in which particular location you have to search that instruction which is present so that is given from this d value suppose if the displacement value how much will be the number of locations in the displacement see uh, sorry this is 12 2 to the power of 12 4096 4096 will be the total number of locations present here okay the size of this physical size of the page in this physical memory is what 4096 if let us assume the displacement value is something like uh, 2060 okay to reach to this 2060 what this particular uh, uh, address to reach to this particular address is what you know that this is what will happen always the frame number and the displacement if the frame address is how much 1200 and the displacement is 260 so 1200 plus 2060 yes 3260 this particular location whatever this location is what 3260 from this physical address whatever you are obtaining so this step i am just adding here to get the clarity because normally what know the physical address is always the frame address frame address is what the starting address of that particular page and d value you can get from the logical address so this is what is the complete concept or the idea behind the two level paging like this you may have three level pagings also pg1 pg2 pg3 or you can use the letters p1 p2 p3 so this way you are going to what Uh, store the huge page table at different parts in the memory so if the session is useful to you all please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye take care